with the Travis Kelsey theme. So yeah, turns out he is totally a Swifty. He's a Swiftosaurus, as they call him. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if he doesn't, if he doesn't trademark that Swiftosaurus, dude, he has to. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of The Gringo and The Guapo with your two hosts as always, The Gringo, Kyle McLemore, and my co-host as always, Guapo Alex Duarte. That's right, back in studio and it's good to see you as always, sir. How about a cheers to not just the sode, but the new setup of the sode. That's right. Boom. That's right, new setup, always changing it up, trying to mix it up, match it up, make it always better. Uh, before we get too far along in the pod, do make us... I had to slow down. I chugged that slow energy down, drink, and now down. it's like my uh, mind is going uh, faster, or my mouth is going faster than my mind. <laughs> so do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It's much appreciated. It definitely helps the show stay alive, and you know uh, there's not a lot else that keeps us going other than... Your help out there. So thank you so much. Uh, how are you, sir? Definitely appreciate you coming on down. I should have saved for some of that yerba as you did. But uh, how are you, sir? Thank you for making the trip down to the studio. How are you? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Feel free to really jump in because I'm mm-hmm. going to be motoring. I'm like, already, right. I'm lit. I'm a lit rocket mm-hmm. right now. So you're going to have to really jump in if you want any airtime on this <laughs> one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so how are you, sir? It's good to see you um, making your drive down. How was the drive down? I know it's not exactly down the street. Right. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Except there was one one time, uh, one time, there was that one point where like I, some old lady crossing the street scared the shit out of me because uh, she was just randomly like in the middle of the street. But what made it worse was like the car like in like the lane. Next to me, they were pretty much blocking her, so I couldn't see her at oh. all. And then I'm I'm just going, and all of a sudden I just see her slightly creeping out of like the you know the border of that yeah. vehicle. And I was like, "Holy shit, lady, you're gonna die!" It was like, like no crosswalk, no street lights, nothing. Like, it's a good day to die. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, <clears throat> I mean, it would have been her fault. I mean, yeah. the middle of the street is not a crosswalk, lady. You know, the uh, thing the, that, one of the times when the pedestrian does not have the right of way. <laughs> The thing that terrifies me is like, you know, it's like, regardless, even if it's, you know, 100% their fault, it's like something that I don't want to have to deal with. It sucks, dude. Like, yeah, that would be the worst feeling ever. No, you know? I, I know that last <laughs> episode we did talk <laughs> about terrible. fears and I know it, it's <clears throat> like a week late, but for some reason I had that lingering thought about fears. And that is one of them is like, yeah, accidentally a vehicular manslaughter or like, uh, yeah, just accidentally, like even like hitting a dog or something would like make oh, me yeah. uh, feel terrible. So that's always, and that's like almost like a daily fear too. Like, of like, Oh, constantly like, yeah, turn in a corner and like you see somebody like, Ugh. right. Yeah. It's, it's pretty sketchy. It's uh, pretty sketchy. You know what else is, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. But uh, speaking of driving and stuff, um, I know that we kind of bring it up too. And, um, but since it's still early in the episode, we can clip it up. Uh, we bring up road rage a lot. I know it's kind of like might as well be like the road rage uh, podcast. But uh, <laughs> this one's just uh, too good, dude. And it, it feels like I put this in perspective of like, yeah, you know, I've had road rage. You've had road rage. Definitely. Have you ever had this kind of road rage? Oh, let me hit the volume. Exit. The convention center exit. Every feel free to <laughs> feel free to get that commentary too. Well, I mean, this dude's just like honking and yelling and screaming yeah. at everybody. Oh, just wait. So uh, ev- evidently, accent? what happened is, uh, oh, okay, he's mobbing. Yeah, they had it blocked off because there was like a parade, and he couldn't get across because there was like a parade going on. Okay. So clearly, just goes. He puts that four by four. Yeah, he's killing it. It looks like he's got some uh-huh. kind of jeep, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, give it a minute, and then here we go. Okay. Now he is the oh, parade, dude. Oh, hell See, this is no. where it switches to, like, just normal road rage. Like, oh, this is, like, a little bit scary, Now, dude. Now you're kind of going to, like, psycho mode. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude. The video goes... That's pretty much it for this. People, you know, are, people are screaming, too, yeah. But no, the best part, to keep it, like, lighter. The best part. I mean... Every motherfucking that's great. I like uh, apparently from the story is like uh, he had like dinner dinner, dinner reservations. 
dinner <laughs> reservations, and uh, he's on the phone with like his family, like saying like I can't make it, like oh. everything blocked off. Okay. And he's trying to get to this reservation, and he's like losing his mind. Yeah. He proceeds to lose his mind. The video continues. Um, the cops do eventually chase him, uh, and they do like uh, pin him in or whatever. Um, let me cut the volume. Um, yeah, all because he really wanted to make that reservation. The best part, I don't know if you noticed, uh, check out this. It's great quality of the video, right? All yeah, throughout. really good. Front cam, back cam, yeah. inside the cabin cam. It's yeah. all his, dude. That's like yeah. the craziest part. Is like this is all your footage yeah. used against I, you I, about like I the was, craziest. Dude, that's like, what I was thinking. Like, did, did the cops were like, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to take a look at this. So I haven't, I, I haven't checked on an update since like the first time I saw that, which was a while ago. And yeah, it was like an endless list of like, Endangerment, reckless driving, but the yeah. like crazy, but, but like all, all this huge charges. list, and then to all of them, not guilty is what he pled. And I'm no. just like, dude, yeah. with with <laughs> the fucking camera evidence, and you're just you like, know, and you're just like, nah. It, th- that could be uh, like just some kind of a- a- animation. Me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That too. Mustache I yeah. have on. Slightly that guy different. Does not have a mustache. The eye color is like, you know, these yeah. are blue and those are no, hazel. So I, and know? then at the end of the day, it's also, I like to look at it because it's like, you know, like I said, I've had my moments of like, you mother, but it's like, I've never driven through a parade, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like. I mean, hey. so I, I could say with my daily commute, for sure, it's it's definitely my my patience. Mm. It's not as, like, I don't have as much patience as I did before. But there are those times where I am start like getting like super pissed. Where then I call myself, I'm like, all right, tone it down. I was the, the commute makes you know? a difference, you know. When it's like, it know, does. That's a, that's some real shit. If you got a short commute, if you're dating side streets, and it's not a big deal. But if it's like I, my old commute used to be gnarly. It used to be what was it? Um, where the it's like where four different freeways all hit at once, and it's uh, just like no matter what time. Oh, of I know day, what you're talking about. Um, yeah, it's like the sixty, the ninety one. Maybe the 15's in there or the 10. I don't know. There's like four different ones. Is that the one where there's a big curved overpass that comes into it as well? Yeah. 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 The, it's like yeah, yes. the crossing of all of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like literally it's like closer by yeah. like, it's like when you start to enter like Moreno Valley, sort yes. of. Yes. Yeah. It's like no matter yeah. what time. Yeah. Dude, every time coming out of work, it was like, yeah, minimum. It used to be awesome. Like one day out of the week, like I would go in on Sunday and it's mm-hmm. just like Sunday morning, completely open. Like, yeah. <laughs> My drive to work is like 30 minutes. And then no, but then on average, every other day is like an hour plus minimum yeah. because I could never figure out why. There was never like an accident. It was always just because like there's a slight turn and like, so everyone has to slow down for the turn. And then everyone's merging from all these freeways, so it's just yeah, like, yeah. that congestion yeah. sucks. Yeah, every day of that does make you want to drive yeah. through a parade, so yeah. so yeah. I mean, it sucks when, like, something goes wrong, it, like, before your drive, mm. like, you lost your keys or something, mm. so you're like, oh, I'm running kind of, like, 10, already. 15 minutes yeah. late, and then you're already pissed about that. Then, you know, like, you don't feel good, you, like, take a nasty shit, and then you're mm-hmm. getting in your car finally, <laughs> and then it's like... That build up, or and then some people are just driving insanely slow, you know, and I don't know. I can see how like that happens. I mean, driving through a parade is a little, a little, a little bit to the extreme, yeah. But uh, speaking <clears throat> of extreme too, this is another um, thing I wanted to bring up with you for a long time. Is how's your what's your opinion? Um, on, I hate it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, I mean, you know, I just uh, the whole Palestine thing, and then no, I'm kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, how do you feel about a slap fight? Slap fight? Yeah. It's, en- you, it's entertaining. Have you like uh, actually like watched like a full I, pay-per-view event? Or, like, uh, is it like I, a pay-per-view I know, thing? I don't, I don't know if it's a pay I wouldn't be surprised at this point, probably. I've only um, ever consumed it in like clip form, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, like, On the internet. Stories, or, clips. Stories, I was yeah. hanging out with my friend, and we were going through a bunch of them. Mm. Um, to me... I think it's it's entertaining, of course. It Obviously, it's working. To say the least, it's entertaining. <laughs> but I would never do it myself. Uh-huh. And I also, like, I just don't take it serious. Like, oh. I mean, it's serious. Well, like, probably the damage they're ro- doing to their, like, That's the, their the interesting heads. part to me is, like, like, the amount of, like, trauma they're doing to their brain and concussion <laughs> trauma and stuff. Yeah, so if you want to commentate. Oh, like, I mean, just massive slab. This dude just acted See, like nothing happened. Yes, I, I think they show. But the re- audio, that's not the original audio. Come on. Oh, the kablam. They, the, yeah. <laughs> the thunder. That was the sound of an explosion. <laughs> yeah, definitely after okay. effect. But, but 
Oh man. Yeah, the ripple. But man, is is there anything that's got to be worse than like giving somebody your all on a slap and then him just like, hmm? did you <laughs> did you go yet, sir? Yeah. I'm not sure. I didn't feel it because um, he takes it like a champ. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Takes it like a champion. Damn. Yeah, it's okay. like a gunshot going. Yeah. Oh, not bad. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, That's enhanced. After a fat. Yeah. Oh, he's got a boner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think they have to hold a stick or something. I'm waiting for the. I think they do the slow mo on him, too. Damn. How to deliver with technique. Okay, maybe not. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Dude, that looked like it hurt his wrist, too. Complete follow through. But you you uh you hit it when you said it is the whole like uh, brain damage thing is what's interesting because it's like you know of course you're gonna get it in combat sports or whatever boxing right. MMA or something like that but it's like but even though like if you think about that and in, in something like MMA and boxing like that's they're they're trying to do everything they can to yeah. avoid it block it you know it's not easy to get that clear it's shot out. knockout yeah, yeah. hit mm-hmm. and then you're also defending and stuff like that and yeah. yeah yeah you do get you know stuff slips through but that's just like pure no defending no like you know shots to the no, body it's just, just brain rattling around let me take it to the dome yeah dude like yeah just like yeah. you ever see those x-ray videos where like the brain just do, 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 yeah you can see it like, like kind yeah, of bouncing you, around you gotta imagine that it's just like turning into jelly in there dude like uh but it is entertaining. It uh, is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that was a good clip. That's uh, one of the things about, like, I think, especially, I got, like, I don't know, American entertainment. Mm, like, yeah, the thing about America, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. America. <laughs> uh, what's the, uh, Only in America. Yeah. I didn't need my Don Teen here. Oh, uh, damn. Mm. Oh. But, um, yeah, man, I just thought, yeah, man, slapping somebody like that and just having them just, like, not even flinch, I'd be like, ah, oh, you win, you win, I'm good, I'm good, you win, I, I, you know, I, he, I, I forfeit. He could have saved himself the trouble by by doing that. It's like accepting, all right, this dude's on a whole other level, let me get out of here. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? Can, hey, yeah. Can I Shake train, his hand. Can I train with you? <laughs> Sensei, <laughs> teach me your ways. Um, but, yeah, we can uh, move on if you want to a uh, oh, little wow. bit of a topical um, news story that's um, out recently. Um, let me see if I can... Actually, I looked up the actual post that was posted, um, but did you hear the latest news on Snoop? Snoop? No, I haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you're probably confused. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know who I'm talking about. Sorry. Uh, so, oh. many, so many Snoops out there. I wasn't uh, sure. It was play. So <laughs> I'll, I'll give you... Uh, okay, so here's the post right here. It's very... It says, uh, after much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke. Please respect my privacy at this time. All right. Yeah. And it was posted like a while ago. When I first saw it, I thought it was like, okay, that's funny. Yeah. You're a funny guy, Snoop. Right. Funny dude. But um, this was um, going on... Like, uh, about a day ago. Okay. okay. And the response seems to be, like, it's pretty legit, I guess. Um, thoughts? Um, well, I mean, you know, he's getting older. He's been... He is old, yeah. I mean, this dude is, like, definitely, like, very, like, smoke, like, iconic Since like, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't hurt to, like, maybe he's probably just taking a break. <laughs> oh, 52. <laughs> you know, but, 52. Yeah, that's... It doesn't hurt to quit. I would uh, say my thoughts were um, my thoughts <clears throat> were maybe like uh, this is like a promotional thing for like maybe he's like gonna do like okay, let's you see. Think if it's I, a publicity stunt. Let me see if I can call this. Yeah, publicity stunt Oof. to promote that. Yes, he is stopping smoking yeah. because he's doing a new product thing with Martha Stewart with just edibles. Like I'm not smoking. Oh. I'm moving to edibles. Huh. Well, in with that Martha case, Stewart. What do you think? Because it's like to me, well, it's like to me, it's is like, that a real thing that you looked up? Is that no, no, no. no. I, that's okay. what I'm saying. I'm oh. calling it. I'm calling it. Oh, okay. The, that's the that, that was like less than a day ago when wow. he posted that, and it specifically well, it specifically says, "I'm giving up smoke. I'm yeah. not giving up Mary Jane. I'm not yeah, giving I'm up not, marijuana. I'm not, I'm not gonna get high anymore. I'm gonna be straight I'm edge. Going straight edge. Yeah. It says giving up the smoke specifically, <laughs> which makes me think. Okay. Well, we all know. You're not giving up Mar- <laughs> sweet Mary Jane, Snoop. Like, right. come on now. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, you know, if you were to do kind of like, you know, a poster of just the most iconic stoners, you got to have. Marley. Yeah, it's Snoop. You got to have Snoop there. All right, man. Mount like, Rushmore, Bob Marley, Snoop, Cheech and Chong. Yeah. 
That yeah, yeah, that, right. that, yeah, that was easy. That was super easy. Yeah. That was good. Uh, nice. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other honorable mentions in the world of Mary Jane. I mean, I would say Jimi Hendrix, but I mean, Jimi Rick, Hendrix kind of like loved dabbling I'd, with I'd everything. I'd say Rick James even more. Rick James has a yeah. song on Mary Jane. I mean, yeah, that's Jimmy, true. Jimi Hendrix didn't write no uh, Mary Jane I mean, Jane he's, song. Kind of, he's kind of more known for his cocaine as yeah, a hell of a drug quote, but, but that's I mainly because of Dave that Chappelle. song, dude. Though. Yeah, it's, that, it's that is good, such a great song. Good song. Uh, but but yeah, that's my... Uh, Call it a conspiracy theory if you want. That's my theory. Is that yeah? I don't believe. I would actually be like maybe the word. I'd be kind of disappointed. I don't know if it's disappointed. Yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, come on, man. Yeah, you're this, trying to do now this. You're like, giving it up. The fuck? This kind of like it seems almost like a heartfelt, like, hey, I'm trying to like. No, that's why you know, I thought it was doing, a, trying to do a complete right. joke because it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like something so outrageous. And, and yeah. then you know, two weeks later, it's like Martha Stewart, Snoop, let's so, go. Like you maybe, know, like, maybe the Martha be, Stewart thing is a little bit too far, but I do thoroughly believe that yeah it's probably would, gonna be like an edible thing i like, would love to i mean i wouldn't love or to maybe see like that you happen, know but, topical I mean, or like yeah anything other than smoke is yeah. what i'm imagining i mean i definitely could see that with martha stewart doing some kind of edible thing like or like a butter maybe like some special butter that they you make like, or, uh, i don't know eddie balls eddie balls eddie balls you like eddie's balls yeah edibles? eddie's balls yeah. they're great uh <laughs> i i do like edibles mm. i've had some like you know i feel like you got to be careful with edibles, you know, and I think mm. there's a lot of people out there who are just like, oh, I, don't, I feel like they don't do much for me. And then they end up eating way too much and mm. then they regret it. Mm. I've done the same thing. I've like eaten too much and Ugh. kicked me in the ass, but mm. it was a fun experience and a learning one, you know. Well, you know, as long as you have fun and yeah. learn something, yeah, it's yeah. all good. But then. I do like edibles. What about yourself? Um, well, <clears throat> and it almost exactly like you said, how there's like people that are like, mm, 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 doesn't really do much for me. Well, um, mm, mm, doesn't really do much for me. Uh, maybe it's because I have a extraordinary tolerance. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm better than most people. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I think it is a tolerance thing. Um, I, I've taken plenty. I've had plenty. I don't shy away. I don't, uh, dude, let me, I, let me bring you some edibles. I, I would love it. Okay. Love it. Please send them to me. Please I will, bring them. Look, when you say that story about like, oh, people, or like, dude. even when I'm like, you know, I listen to like uh, whatever podcast and like, they're like, oh, Joey Diaz gave me this edible and I went to fucking Pluto and I never came back. I'm like, dude, give me that edible. Cause I've never yeah. had that experience of being like, I've never had the experience of being like, this is too much from an, ed oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I do take that back. There was like one time, maybe it was like my first edible because it was like really good. And it, I remember specifically because it came in like waves. It was like a feeling of a wave crashing over me of highness and being like, this is the greatest. Yeah. But um, ever since then, every time I take one and I'll take it empty stomach, I'll take it <sighs> without like smoking or whatever. I'll take it so that way hopefully I get the maximum effect. And the most I've gotten is where like, you ever like, you know, like, just kind of like stare off into the distance. And yeah. And you're like, you're like, whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of deep in thought there for a minute. That was probably the edible. All right. Well, that was fun. That was uh, money well spent. So, dude, I, I've had times where I was on a other planet, I, man. I hope you take freak, it as a challenge. Freaking out. Dude, bring me the freak dude, out, dude. I'm dude, waiting for the freak dude, out. Dude, maybe what we got to do for you is the kind of like Wolf of Wall Street effect. You got to mm. do like an enema and then oh. go on a treadmill and sweat <laughs> oh, everything. Oh, yeah. Out. You got to really you sweat know, it out. Yeah. You know, Kick maybe in go the in like a sauna and then, yeah, just <clears> eat a whole <throat> jar. <clears throat> I, one Fast thing, for like a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I've found is is pretty What's strong. What's your uh, is, preferred uh, method? Like, like uh, <clears throat> I, I don't really have a like specific kind of method. I would you, say just like I prefer. I, I know try, they have like drinks and they have like yeah. Uh, so I've had the PBR drinks. Oh, the Paps. I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring that up or not. Because um, tell me your um, experience. Because I, I always see them. I want to get them, but I always see the ten milligram, and I'm yeah. just like, okay, well, that's basically going to be like a. So, Might as well be a liquid death. Like no, it's not gonna. No, I think I think it's perfect though when you think about it because ten milli. Yeah, hold on. Let me explain. Okay. Sorry. All right. Listen, Go listen ahead. up. Go ahead. All right, because most gummies that you get will uh, be like I, I feel like a ten to twenty milligram ratio. Yeah. So if you think about it, it's almost like the equivalent of having. It's almost the, like I would consider like the equivalent of having like two beers. Hmm. But I also think it because it's a liquid compared to the, like an edible like food, so it digests differently. Mm. So I think the last time I drank one and I drank it pretty fast, 
it hit me, but it didn't hit me as, as strong as like an edible. It is just like it. THC, like nothing else in it, right? Uh, just... No, they're, they have a couple different ones that have CBD, oh. and then it has this different kind of THC as well. Okay, I just meant like no alcohol or nothing. No, like no, no alcohol at all. I, like, But they have one that's like a daytime, and there's a nighttime one, and they mm. have this other different kind of THC, which I haven't got to try these yet, uh, but it seems tempting. Um but what was I going to say? Back to, like, as you were saying, like, what's my uh, ritual or anything? Oh, well, because I was going to say, um, yeah, you talked about like, the gummies. <clears throat> well, yeah, I've had these gummies, like, especially when I was living up north. Mm-hmm. We had a dispensary close to us, and we were trying all these new gummies. Then we tried, um, what was that really, dude, I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of this brand that they do a lot of, like, the the vape uh, liquids. God damn it, what is it? Um, super popular, like, uh, like liquid brand. I can't even fucking even think about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I- either way. Yeah. Well, so we we got their gummy, mm. uh, <clears throat> and it has live resin in it. Mm. And I was, I feel like live resin, man. I don't know the science behind it, but it'll whoop your ass. Yeah, it it, makes it a definitely. Difference. Every time I get Bats live resin, punch. gets me high. It's as like fu- the dab version of edibles. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's probably you know. This exactly is intriguing. What, so, so that you should definitely try that. Uh, I would definitely say don't drink so you can be more aware of, you know, and then also don't smoke so you can be more aware, mm. you know what I mean? So it doesn't mix and then you're like, oh, I can't tell if it's a What's smoke what, yeah. or it's edible. Gotcha. And then, um, yeah, I would say if maybe start off with two if you feel like you have a higher tolerance, I, you know? I uh, have no fear and I will yeah. take four if you would like yeah. uh, if you uh, And ask then me on, another thing would probably help is... Like, it's hard to find edibles that are sativa. I feel like m- any mm. dispensary I go to, it's mainly going to be either hybrid or indica. Do you know why that is? Like, even with, um, like with my pen pot or whatever, like, the ratio of indica to sativa yeah. is, like, way out of whack. There's, like, three options for sativa, but, like, 47 for, like, indica or hybrid. And I'm yeah. just like, hey, hey. Doesn't everybody want sativa? <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Right. Like, I only ever... Indica is just a yeah. like, no go for me. Like I don't want it. Even just sativa makes me already a little bit kind of like lazy and tired. Yeah, indica I, is just straight up. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's exactly. Over, dude. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, uh, and then maybe we can get some help from our stoner audience because I don't know like all the like actual science behind it. But I think for at least the edibles, somebody told me that it's like the way it's like like they process it. It just like it's almost it's harder to get like a uh, sativa effect hmm. after it's been processed hmm. or something like that. I could be totally wrong, but I, I think it, that's kind of why it's consistent. Yeah, majority of the time you look at some edibles, it's either going to be hybrid or indica, but they do have sativa. It's just for some reason harder to find. Yeah, I'm actually going to ask that the next time hmm. I'm at a dis- dispensary because for me, I'm a heavy sleeper. Yeah, and once I take some indica, dude, <laughs> yeah, I can coma. like I can sleep for days. Yeah, I yeah. can sleep. I, like I, dude, it's terrible. Yeah. It is terrible. That's like not, I mean, it's great. I sleep good, yeah, but I'm like you, trying you know, to get it, stuff done. In the right so. circumstances. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I, I want you to experience interesting because um, I I <clears> tried uh, other things like you you did say how like yeah most gummies are like within like the twenty twenty five range or whatever yeah. I've gotten like yeah it's like you know each gummy is twenty twenty five so the whole pack together is like a hundred and I'm just right. like okay well I'm gonna eat that hundred and it's still like oh I've done that yeah. I did like I ate like one fifty and it was like one small square gummy mm-hmm. and I was like first I ate like two of this because it has like a little chart mm-hmm. and it's annoying because it's like they don't break off in that chart piece you're just yeah. like trying to rip it right. to that size so <laughs> and I, like measure it yeah. yeah so I had like two of them and I was feeling good and I was like dude I'm tired of like dealing with this ripping shit like I'm just gonna eat the whole thing because it's really good anyway. Yeah. So I ate the whole thing and it, and then I had like a girl I was dating at the time. She like came over, and I just could not like function. Mm-hmm. I was just like I was, a, yeah. I was like you know she Out showed up. And I was just like trying to like uh, over here like I was like fucking <laughs> so just, yeah. straight up zombie dude. I just could not Floating do it around the whole room. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I mean, props to you if you got that tolerance. No, yeah, and then uh, you know what we should try to do. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a. I was going to say we should, like, go see, maybe, like, like buy tickets for two movies, right? Mm. But we should do it over there and then just eat a ton of gummies. Okay. 
I'm down. Like, I feel like I'm and just going to see like how we make it through the night and then just yeah, take an Uber I, back. I'm completely you know? down. Like I said, I have no fear of such things. Um, I even tried to like, I'm constantly trying to ump the, up the intake or whatever. Cause I was like, all right, well the Hundies, even when I do the whole bots or bad or whatever, it's not doing anything. So let me try the syrup. Cause the syrup has like, I think like a thousand, like in the bottle, like it, yeah. it has like a thousand within it, but you know, you're supposed to just like, you know, whatever your preference is. Like, yeah. You know. Does it have like a, like one of those droppers or something? Like no, a no, tincture? No, you, it's just like you just pour oh. and then like on the <clears> side, it's got like a little thing to measure. Anyway, I was just like, all right, well, you know, if I can't, it's a, like, I'll just dump a bunch and do like, you know, was, if a hundred's not doing it, then, you know, I'll train 200, three, whatever. I'll just pour a bunch. Which was like a good idea on paper, um, but still it didn't get me like crazy high yeah. because it's so disgusting, oh, dude, yeah. that like I couldn't force myself to drink it. It was just so bad that like, you know, I tried to pour a bunch, so I could get stoned, but like it just, yeah, the flavor was just horrible. It was just so bad. I don't think I even finished it. It was just but, terrible. Was it was a very like plant, like a very yeah, disgusting it's, plant Yeah, it's just flavor. like when you have an edible that just doesn't taste like anything other yeah. than just like hardcore. Yeah. Like you're just eating Because I think I've had a tincture that was like that too. Yeah. It was, just, okay. it was, it was supposed to be like cherry or something, yeah. but it was just like, yeah, it was just like you're drinking a plant. Yeah, pretty much. And like, yeah. not even in a good way. Like that sounds good. Like I'm drinking a plant. It sounds healthy. Yeah, but like, right. No, no. It tasted horrible. Yeah, I just remember I was just like, ugh, I can't do this. Yeah, so cool. bring it on. Yeah. I uh, bring it on. Uh, I, we'll I we'll hope consider you... that like a, a goal of ours for the yeah, podcast. Yeah. No, you no, know. for sure. <clears throat> um, and then Kyle no, high off edibles. I hope you take it as a challenge, and I hope that whatever you're like thinking, like, okay, this will definitely do it. I hope that you double it, whatever it is. Like, yeah. Whatever you end up getting me, be like, just double it. That's the brand I was thinking of is Stizzy. I can't believe I forgot the name of it. Stizzy. Oh, Stizzy. You know, that is very yeah, yeah. Um, popular. They're, yeah, pretty known. And, yeah, so they have uh, – maybe I can try to get some of those gummies. They're the live resin. Uh, they're delicious, too. I oh, think nice. Strawberry or watermelon. Interesting. So good. Bring it on. Let's do That's it. what I say. Cool. Uh, well, uh, we can uh, transition a bit if you like. You want to talk <laughs> some uh, – Football. Are you interested? Yeah, fuck yeah. Cardinals won. Cardinals they play? I forgot. We played the Atlanta Falcons. We were talking about Battle of the Birds. That is right. I remember watching the Battle of the Bees over there. And you guys won. I saw it was close, if I'm not mistaken. It was close, yeah. It was kind of like back and forth. And then like it was coming... To I remember it was like uh, fourth quarter. Like I think we we got a touchdown. I want to say we I can't remember if we got a field goal after the touchdown. But it was looking good. Mm-hmm. Time was running out. Okay. And I'm like, yeah. yeah but you know, yeah. The NFL. Yeah. You know over until it's over. Yeah, of course. Because then they scored a touchdown, which uh, if I can remember, that put them. They had 23. That so they had twenty three and then we were in twenty five minutes and so, so we had twenty two. Oh okay. We had, yeah. So they had so they were it le- tight. yeah they were leading by one point mm-hmm. and we had like we oh, fuck how much time we had it was like oh it was just about the two minute warning mm. and I'm like I was a little like I'm, I'm you know I I want to Kyler came Kyler Murray came back yeah, so yeah. I'm excited about that and mm. I definitely believe in his skill set but you know. It's been a while, dude. Yeah. Last time he played a game was they they could talk about it eleven months ago. Oh, that is so. That is forever. Yeah, but you know what, man? It was a beautiful drive. Mm-hmm. We had a super deep uh, pass to our tight end Trey McBride, who's actually our second string uh, tight end. He's doing really good. He's mm-hmm. filling in for Zach Ertz. Got an amazing catch, and then we <clears throat> went for the field goal. I think we killed some time. It was like four seconds left when we went for the field goal and made it. Beating them by two points. Uh, yeah, because they had 23, we had 25. Nice. And it was great, man. So oh, yeah. I'm stoked on that. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, did you hear the big news about it? I know you guys just played the Browns, right? And it was a quite thorough domination. Yeah, yeah. It was something like, it was kind of close, yeah, actually. it was a little bit close. It was yeah. close, zero to 27. Did so you like hear the, not that big the big Brown news you know? uh, out of Cleveland? I believe their uh, quarterback is out uh, for the season. I guess he had like a big shoulder injury. Damn. He's out completely, yeah. See, that's Which what I happens just, when you try to <laughs> dude, you play a little bit too hard. You should have been like, hey, <laughs> take it easy. It's what happens. I'm no, just kidding. Um, I don't wish no, no, anything It's never, never cool no. when uh, you, know, no. you got a big injury like that. But I was like, it's true. 
extremely nervous uh, after your guys' meetup because yeah. we do have them, I want to say, like, next week. We got Vikings coming up and then Browns, I think. So I was like, ugh, Vikings are already not going to be a walk in the park. Browns, after what they did to you guys, it's like, dude, I don't want another 70-0 and zero blowout. Like, right, for right. the love of God, not in my lifetime do I ever <laughs> want to see that. Um, but... Now that they got their, you know, I, I, I know nothing about their backup. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, it's probably the fact that he's in the NFL. He's probably, you know, got some skills. So, but, you know, hopefully it's the, making our season or making our odds on that game a little bit yeah. better. I mean, sometimes I think it could be go either way. Uh, they always talk about in press conferences, especially like defensive coordinators or defensive players, how like, you know, there's no tape. On, on whatever quarterback. That is true, yeah. So sometimes that could be like a really Big bad thing yeah. because especially if you're getting the first of that game mm. and they happen to be that stud second string quarterback that is meant to be, you know what I mean? Those yeah. guys who have just like been lingering, mm-hmm. but then they finally get their get chance their and moment. they destroy. So you do good you know? in that one. I mean, one look at like Jalen Hurts. Dude. There was like, there was a season where second string quarterbacks were killing it. No, you do good in like one debut and it's yeah. like, you're good, dude. Yeah. It's like once the fans see that you're doing good, they're just like, oh, because yeah. that's like, all you care about is winning. So it's yeah. like, hey, if this guy's doing good, bring him out, dude. Right. Like, yeah, like, who cares? Uh, I think the other big news is uh, Rodgers is saying... He's saying, I don't know if anybody else is saying, but he's like, oh, yeah, I'm coming back. Like, I think it's like back this season. Like, next week, I think. Like, uh, he's like, uh, yeah, guess who's back? Damn. From a, it wasn't like ACL, like, which is like supposed to be like legendary. Like, not not only is it like you're going to be out, you're you're going to be out for, yeah, minimum season. Like, you're lucky if you come back. Look, we were talking about last, uh, I think Kirk Cousins had the same thing. Oh, really? Um, I'm mistaken. Oh yeah, just uh, just did not expect Rogers uh, to just out of the blue just kind of be like, "Oh, you thought I was out." I yeah, mean, talk no, about no. one of the most uh, disappointing debuts for sure. I mean, no, what was it? The fourth play, dude. I think it was I, the I fourth the play. Whole world was. It was Dude, Such big talk. Can you imagine Bam. being a New Yorker, dude? Because it's like the Jets have had it rough for mm-hmm. quite some time. And then you got to imagine, I, I would be super hyped. I, I imagine like just if the shoe was on the other foot. I mean, Russell <laughs> Wilson came up brand new. I was all excited. If he had ran out on the fourth play, and I would have been like heartbroken, dude. Uh, and then, yeah. you know, that's not even, you know, we had our Super Bowl. We had, so our, we had our rain semi-recently. So it's like, I'm okay with us not being the best right now, but it's yeah. like, I can't even imagine being so bad for so long and then finally having this glimmer of hope and then just shattered on like the fourth play. Yeah, they're four and five, not too bad, I mean, better than what we're doing. But yeah. allegedly yeah. coming back, allegedly. Yeah, we'll that, see. I would we'll be, be very impressed. Maybe makes it to the man. fifth play on this Damn. one, we'll see, yeah. I feel like he's just going to have <laughs> somebody else is like, like <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, like half bionic. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Damn. Oh, uh, you know, speaking of football, we should. I should do a, a public apology. Oh yeah, feel yes. free. Take, um, your, uh, take bats and apologies. Yes, because I was totally wrong. Yeah, but when you I were was name dropping them hard. Yeah, like, yeah I was like, like, I was like, Josh I, Allen. I should have kept the Josh counter. Allen. Yeah, and you know what's weird too is but that, you didn't correct me. No, because so. I had no idea. Uh, I had, yeah, I just assumed you were right. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. And it threw me off too, because I remember when I was watching the game, I remember yeah. being like, huh. I felt <laughs> he looks a little different <laughs> from what I remember Josh Allen looking like. Weird. So I felt like even when I was saying it on the podcast, I was like, doesn't, no, doesn't sound feel right. right. Doesn't yeah. sound right, but I'm I, but, all right, the, all right. You know, the Allen. So Zach Allen Zach is, you know, Josh. Yeah. It's another four letter. Yeah. Yeah, it would, you know, you, I mean, you did play Josh Allen next, and you guys won. Yeah. Um, you guys won. That, uh, the, uh, yeah, that was one of the first games I had to watch finally on Thursday night. Oh, no, uh, Monday night. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, playing uh, Buffalo. Another victory, uh, keeping the streak alive. And uh, talk about, man, talk about the luckiest kicker in the world, dude. Yeah. He'd be a dead man. <laughs> you have no idea, dude. Uh, missing yeah. missing <clears throat> point afters, which is like, oh, which is like, yeah. That's a big one, Which man. is like, you literally have one thing to do in this lead. We don't need you to tackle. We don't need you to be tackled. We don't need you to do anything other than line up at that fucking 25 yeah. line and just make it through the post. Was it crazy windy? It was like maybe a little bit breezy. 
So I can't even give them the excuse of like being in like high wind. But anytime someone misses a after after point, I'm just like, God damn you. So I think there was at least one that I saw. Um, um, there might have been another one, but it definitely came back to haunt us because it's like they caught up um, right at the end. And then, yeah, it was very dramatic at the end because, yeah, it, it all came down to like a kick. Um, I think she, there was like a previous kick too. Lots of like, I remember it was a very kick heavy game. Yeah. And there was like a lot of mistakes. I think um, one of the point afters was because like he went to set it up and like the holder slipped it. Um, which again is like, dude, you got one job is just yeah. to like catch that snap. Um and then, yeah, it came down to the very end, goes for the kick, misses it wide right, um, flag on the field. I think they had, like, 12, an extra guy on the field. So it was just like, well, thank the gods that, like, Buffalo just didn't notice they had an extra guy. So you did another shot. and Oh, yeah, I, it, I did dude, see that. I'm telling you, that that, like, he did make an insight. Yeah. If he hadn't had made that second <laughs> shot, I would have been like, oh, well, then yeah. I'm just going to drive to Colorado and, and I'm just a new kicker. Yeah. I'm, I, I have no experience, yeah. but I'll, I will walk out there right now and I will make it 25 or in the high wind, dude. I'm ready yeah. for it. Um, <clears throat> I just remember being like, uh, dude, yeah. like, you know, 40, 35, yeah. you're taking it from like, you know, wait, okay, I understand if there's wind or whatever, but just the 25 or I'm just like, dude. I was just thinking while like we're talking about this, I was thinking about a little conspiracy. Hmm. Like, what if the holder like got bribed by oh. like you know somebody who's got a massive sports bet? It is going a on. powerful and, uh, position. And, like, and yeah. think about it: with what the holder could do is they could have a good hold right, just like a microsecond mm-hmm. before that mm-hmm. foot hits, and they could just like. Move it around all crazy. That's Something so hopefully happened, it's like, not yeah, too He went to catch it, but it just barely <clears> slipped. <throat> and then they do that thing where it's like that split moments where it's like, well, I got to go for yeah. it. So it's just like, yeah, um, just crazy uh, uh, the amount of kicking mistakes. And it's just like, dude. Yeah. At you the very, at the, I swear, I was like, dude, if you don't make when he when they like because he missed it, and I was just like, fuck. Yeah. You, dude. Yeah. I was so pissed. And then they were just like, and I was just like, oh, we just yep. got. A miracle. Yeah. God just came down and said, you know what? Do it again. And I was hey. just, I just remember sitting there being like, dude, if you don't make this, I'm going to have to go down there and just yeah. like have to like. I, I agree, dude. I honestly would like to like go to like a field. I was hoping you'd practice. say that, dude. I, I will. Because you know what? That would be, how cool would it be to find out that you could actually make that a career? Well, we're going to have some bonus footage for the next episode because there is a brand new park that they opened up like a couple months ago. The field goal post? It's specifically made for two things. Football and football, because it's nice. it's either doubles as a huge soccer field or it doubles as a huge football field, and okay. there's like there's like four of them, and it's there's no playground, there's no sandbox, it's just football or football. Nice. So yeah, yeah I'm, dude, I'll if you got a football, I'll go down there, I'll fucking. I'll Brazilian barefoot that thing and just fucking <laughs> uh, douche, and I'll bet you I'll be able to get at least thirty on that thing. Imagine you find out that you're just like this amazing, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you could kick it from like the like the yeah, five just yard like a natural mark. born, just, and then they dude, finally suit me up, and they're like, "It's <clears throat> this whole thing." They suit me up finally. It's like this whole <laughs> this Rudy career thing, and then I go out there and shatter my foot. Yeah, like on you the rupture first. your Achilles. <laughs> you know, I think I got Damn. really, really uh, uh, spoiled in my Bronco um, <laughs> fanhood of just having Matt Prater for so long and him oh. being like. I know, I know. Dude, um, he's killing it for us. Not only, and then he's old now, too. Yeah. He, he's like a dinosaur in NFL time. Not only was he an amazing kicker, not only did he hold the record for longest field goal for oh. a long time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he held it forever until it got broken by like one yard. But yeah. still a pioneer. And then the amount of times I've seen him stop his own punt return, dude, like the amount of times that he's punted it, and then nobody can stop that guy but Matt Prater. Damn. And he doesn't just stop him. He lays him out. And I remember Damn. being like, dude, I have never been such a fan of a yeah. fucking kicker, dude. Like, dude, he, he's bad dude, to the bone, dude. You, I got to show you this clip of, like, when he missed this field goal. And he was pissed. Yeah. He slammed his helmet down. But the best part is, like, the stare. The camera caught mm. his stare after just that. Just looks right at the camera. And like... <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty like intense, uh, dude. Like he still leads uh, the league by the most uh, over fifty yard dude. field goals by like twenty. He is un- by like twenty. Believable. 
He's awesome. I'm so happy we have him. Solid. You know, yeah. and the only reason we got rid of him is because he's so fucking cool. He, yeah. we, we got rid of him because he like was smoking weed. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they were I like, "Dude, you broke the policy. We <laughs> have to get rid of you." And he's like, "Nah, I'm still awesome." Yeah, uh, he has never stopped being amazing. No, he's never done anything other than just be an amazing clutch. Yeah, like, I gotta if, make like, sure if my life depended on it, I'd be totally confident. But yeah, put in Prater. Yeah, I don't even have to look at the yeah, kick, dude. dude. I'm Absolutely. Good. Yeah, Prater. Like, I mean, if you really wanted to take the risk and you know he can make it at the 50, like, you can, like, go for that a Dude, lot. He, Imagine and if still you're, feel you're pretty, scoring every drive. And still, like, not even be, like, sweating that much. Be like, no, there's still, like, a pretty good chance. He's got this in the bag. Yeah. Like, like, he started doing, like... He was a pioneer of like, yeah, like, oh, we'll take it from the 50. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> it's uh, great. Awesome, dude. We, we uh... uh he honestly dude, like the, last game the lead power dude the, is insane. He for sure the last game he's a big part of the reason why we won. No, the, we got three I think three field goals out of him. He's so. also a big part of like <clears throat> yeah, not only was he so great through such a long career but that also like really changed my mind of like dude like a kicker can really change a game like yeah, yeah. like if you're just consistently laying out those threes like they add up like yeah they do especially if you're playing against like a really stout defense mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. yeah and then you if you need... got Prater that can knock it out from 40s and yeah 50s, it's, it's, like... it's like yeah we made the stop <laughs> but oh it's okay because we're gonna just dude, make the kick from the this, 50 we got this elite <laughs> sniper yeah. over here dude yeah um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Great. Uh, great football stuff. So it's uh, I'm glad that the uh, Cardinals won. I actually forgot yeah. about. It, so it's good that we're both keeping our keeping our slight like just for one more week, <laughs> dude. It's hope. just like yeah, yeah. there's like a heroin addict. Just like one more week, baby. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Yeah. And then yeah, it's gonna we're gonna really really crash hard. Oh, don't eventually, say don't say that. I <laughs> feel like it's, it's just still the Super Bowl. Let's bound. keep the momentum. I know, I know. It's going to uh, be it's, – you know what? We should have played in 2015. I don't know if you remember when you guys went uh, and won the Super Bowl. Mm. We played oh, against you were there, uh, huh? the, the Panthers in Damn. the NFC Championship. Right there, like in an alternate reality. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, we got our asses Oh, whooped. that was the Panthers one. Oh, yeah, I remember that Super Bowl. we got our Bowl. asses whooped. I remember And that I got to tell you something. I really – don't like Cam Newton. Yeah, because he I still don't. really did it. Just for a lot of things, he's such a cocky man. Superman. Dude, like, and, um, but yeah, having a, you know, he's just walked all over us. And yeah. It's like we could not stop him. Well, if it makes you feel better, think, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> I think we did dominate yeah. the Panthers oh, yeah, in the yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. The defense was killing it. Von Miller was an animal. Oh, dude. In Von Miller, and, yeah. Dude, That's insane. That's another all timer <clears throat> with the uh, Broncos, man. Always very, I was heartbroken when he parted I ways. I would be too. I thought, like, I thought for sure that he would be a lifetimer. Like, yeah, make same. him whatever he wants to, give it to him. Yeah. Whatever. Make him the franchise. There's, there's, there's those players that you're like, Come along where it's just like, yeah. dude. Um, like Alvin Kamara? What's your, uh, they, that's how you, what's your, t- Kurt Warner? Kurt dude. Warner? Yeah. T- to him, to me, that's just like Zona. Like, yeah. It's crazy because, like, he's Rams. Although it's more Rams, yeah. yeah it's like, he won the Super Bowl with him. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I know, but... I don't know why. I just see uh, him in the red and white, like... I, I always seen, like, uh, I don't know, games where he's, like, commentating and mm, stuff. Yeah. And they always ask him when it's, like, Rams versus the Cardinals. Oh. And they'd be like, oh, who are you going yeah, for? And he's he, like, he'd just be <laughs> like, uh... I'm not rooting for anybody, yeah, yeah. you know. I'm like, but it's like, come on, man. I know he's got a special place. Warner's an all timer for, for sure. He's a yeah. super cool. Got any more uh, football toppies you want to talk on? Or uh, mm-hmm. I think that was like most of the big stories. Uh, who do you guys got next? We got to play the Texans next. Yeah. They just beat the Bengals. What? Uh, so that kind of worries oh. me because we lost to the Bengals. Uh, but we do have Kyler Murray. It's a home game, it's in oh. Houston. Uh, so I don't know. I'm, I'm still pretty confident. I feel like uh, it's going to be a good game, and I feel like we can definitely win. Uh, how about a live football <clears throat> update? Ravens just won against the Bengals. Okay, thirty-four twenty. Nice. Continues. Right. I think that was my Super Bowl pick. Yeah. Was, uh, what Ravens. was what was your two? And I don't even remember what my two was. I don't like, remember picking two. I only <clears throat> remember picking the, the Ravens to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> all I remember okay. is only Ravens. I, right. Ravens versus Ravens. <laughs> 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 There's gonna be a civil war in Baltimore. <laughs> Damn. Uh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say Yeah, I can't remember who you said last one uh, if if you wanna repick or I mean I I would like to s- I feel like the Eagles could win it. I, I Eagles honestly, are definitely uh I, contenders. I, feel like they're, they're I know that doing we talked really about really good and they want some payback. Yeah. 
They they beat the Bengals, right? Huh? That, that's who I said. Yeah, they beat the Bengals. Uh, yes. That's who we talked about. Uh, but the Ravens. Portnoy. Uh, that was his pick for the Super Bowl. Was yeah. the Bengals to win? So the Bengals to. I don't see that. I don't. I don't. I don't know. They uh, were. I mean, who knows? They were struggling like a good amount before we played them, and then, uh, like, not only did they whoop on us, but I think uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamar Chase. I believe that's his name, Jamar Chase, on the Bengals uh, receiver. I think Ooh. he had like a. Let me let me <laughs> let me uh, make sure I'm not uh, butchering it again. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he had like a career day. Oh yeah, I'm out of the loop on a lot, um, of, on a lot of new players. Yeah, Jamar Chase. Yeah. Got any other big contenders? I feel like Cowboys look pretty good. I feel like Cowboys um, do, but then again, like you know, even with our struggles, we were. They're, they're the first team we beat, mm. you know? And uh, I, I don't know. I feel like there's something about the Cowboys Have where... Have they played the Eagles? Uh, yeah, oh, I mean, they dude, got they did. It was, like, right at the Reason? end, too. Yeah. Am I crazy? Wasn't that the one where, like, Prescott was, like, an inch away from it getting that touchdown, and then, like, they pushed him out at the last second? I didn't see that. I think but it was, like, they were, like... Was a, that for, like, a it was like, game winning? Yeah, it was, like, down to the Damn. last second. Like, yeah, I think they were, like, a point behind or something. Um... Oof, yeah. Yeah, I remember I being a heartbreaker, I think. I think I was watching, like, just a scoreboard kind of game. I feel like the Eagles are the only team that's lost only one game, I believe. Hmm, because they else. haven't played the Broncos, which is pretty convenient. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. It should be exciting. Oh, I mean, but um, Chiefs. I Chiefs? I just don't want to see the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie. I just don't. Want to see it's not about what you want, Alex. Yeah, I know. It's about who's the best. I mean, but uh, that can it, uh, be a good it, transition into our uh, next uh, topic here because it is a uh, chief related. Um, this is a little segment where we both become Swifties. What? That's right. You got Swifty. your you got your bracelet. You got your friendship yeah, bracelet. Yeah, I got my tattoo. You know about dog. the you know about the friendship bracelet? And is that a real thing? Are you it's a real me? thing, no, dude. I, mean, uh, I don't know if it's called friendship bracelet or a tailored bracelet. I think it's a friendship bracelet. Um, but yeah. Um, Speaking of the Chiefs, uh, who I do feel, and I, I know I've brought it, I hate, it's like a uh, knife every time I have to say it, but they are good. And they are good. And they have been there, like, within the last couple of years. They keep fucking Dude. going. Andy Reid is a genius, though. And they got the Swift behind. They got yeah. that Swift breeze pushing them over Swift the... Swift breeze. <laughs> Pushing them to the goal line. Um, you can't. Um, I'm telling you, dude. If she doesn't show up at the Super Bowl at halftime, then wow. Then the NFL doesn't know what they're doing. Do you know who's playing the halftime? I think it's Usher. Usher? I don't know. I think. I don't know. I think. I haven't. I think I, it's already been announced. Yeah. I think it was announced before all this Usher? happened. Wow. Otherwise, I think she would be playing. Like you yeah. know, if it was like. A popularity contest, halftime show. I'm ready to see a band in there again, man. I miss that. I feel like uh, it's been a while since they've had a band play the halftime show. Oh. Who? Oh, wait, no, because it's showing me. Oh, sorry, I have it for last year. My bad. I was like, what, Rihanna again? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, it is Usher, dude. Okay. Oh. Uh, what? Well, he can't be going on there. And the Super Bowl's at Vegas, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's my God. Be... Dude, what is going on with Vegas? This is going to get a sidetrack. I don't, I don't want to. We can bring it up on the next show because we're getting low on time. But, dude, if Vegas is about to be the place. What the fuck? Yeah. I didn't know they had the Super Bowl. And then they got F1 going over there, dude? Yeah. Am I right. the only one that thinks that's the fucking coolest thing uh, F1 yeah. cars and then that. ripping down the strip, <laughs> dude, with all the Vegas. Oh, is that? Dude, is that? Oh, I that's didn't know. why they're doing all the stupid oh. construction on the streets. They're redoing all the streets. Can you picture all the casinos lit up and just wow. fucking, uh, fucking ripping down the street, dude? Yeah. It's probably going to be impossible. I, I would love, that? I don't know. I would love to go to, and it's, I know you have to pay. They already have it set up to uh. where it's like, unless you're going to pay, they have like blockers or whatever. But, dude, to me, F1 ripping through the streets of Vegas is unbelievably cool. I had no idea that the Super Bowl was going to be there. Yeah. Holy smokes, Vegas, Vegas is about to in. be. Dude, cashing can in. you imagine winning no. the Super Bowl? And then you're already in Vegas, dude. <laughs> you just walk out the stadium and you're uh, yeah. there, that dude. That would be pretty sick. Hookers, gambling, everything a winner needs, <laughs> dude. Um, but we're getting too sidetracked. <laughs> 
This is going to be actually well, a I'm perfect dying. episode because we've got we're hitting all demographics, dude. Boom, NFL, our male audience. Boom, Taylor Swift, our Swifty audience. Uh, so yeah, we had a bit of a homework assignment on this one. Uh, we had to do a deep dive, a deep deep dive. We both went deep on the backlog of Taylor Swift. We went through every album, start to finish. Massive listening party, or was that just me? Uh, I guess I became a fan <laughs> and I started and just couldn't stop. Yeah, she's um, great. Yeah, well, we both got a little bit of a list to help us dip a toe. Special shout out to our Swifty expert, Julianne, who was able to get that list together. Um, and I feel like it was a good list because um, after I, I did go through the list and I listened to all the songs, and then I started to dip a toe into other stuff. Oh, okay. And that's when I came across the other songs where I was like, oh, this is a Taylor Swift song. I had no idea. And then there was like two where I was like, oh, I kind of do know this song. I just wasn't aware that it was Taylor Swift. The ones on our list, I had never heard before and had no idea that if I had heard them, I would have known that they were hers. Um, was it the same for you? First time listening to those? Uh, no, there, there was one I heard for sure. Oh, you sure. don't hear it? Uh, damn, was it like Love Story or let me, I'll tell you right now. This is how much of a Swifty I am. I, I totally know. I just want to pretend like I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're playing Troy. Yeah, we can exactly. see right just through you. Yeah. Love Story. I'm uh-huh. pretty sure I've heard Love Maybe, Story Well, you know before. what? Maybe that was one of the ones I remember um, <clears throat> that I had heard, too. Is that yeah. the one? Um, I can't remember how it goes. I don't um, know. I think the one I found, like, tolerable, <laughs> or it wasn't that bad, was Enchanted. Mm. I, just because of the music, mainly. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I would say that kind of, I going know. into this, we're both rather like novice in terms of like Taylor Swift. Like I said, well, there yeah. was only like two that like I after listening to them, I was like, oh, that is Taylor Swift. I had yeah. no idea. So um, interesting um, uh, first impressions, or like, um, did it change your? Because I feel like we both had kind of the same opinion. It was like you know, it's not that I necessarily dislike or hate. It's more yeah. just like you know, just not my jam. <clears throat> and from the first, the list that we had, it was kind of like. Maybe honestly, it wasn't the best list. What was her name? Julianne? Yeah, it was. I like, had to have a talk with her because. I was expecting more. I was expecting more. Bangers? Yeah. If that made sense? I was definitely. Th- these were more. very ballad. Yeah. These were very. Yeah, they were. Break up some, some of them were real slow. Which is not to yeah. say that they were bad. Yeah. They, they definitely show off her vocal range. Yeah. I, I'm a, sure. I, I will say that, like, it, hey, she's got some pipes for sure. There was a, yeah. I can't remember which song, but there was a one or two of them where I had to, like, you know, sit and, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, definitely got some vocal talents that are undeniable. Um, and it, that is part of the reason why I kind of branched out of the list and went a little bit deeper because I was like, there has to be. Yeah. Bangers. There has yeah, yeah. to be. There's no way. I've seen so many clips and videos recently of like all her concerts, just oceans of people. And I'm like, there's no way oceans of people are going for just ballad after ballad after slow song after yeah, ballad. Yeah, like, no, there's no, no way. There's no. got to be bangers. You got to have more energy. I think there that. was one or two that I did find. And like I said, I didn't go too deep into the ocean of Taylor Swift. But first impressions, meh, meh, meh. meh. I meh. D- like, I feel like there's. There's like other musicians mm-hmm. and like songwriters and vocalists. Like you know, I I would say, uh, I I think Adele. Well, yeah, not like Adele or like uh, Lana Del Rey. Like I feel like those those. Actually, yeah, it's interesting. Like, those, that's something at least I feel like is more. I don't know. Has more of a broad uh, fan base. Mm. And I, where I, whereas when I hear Taylor Swift, I feel like it's a uh, specific demographic. That, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of like fans that she has. It's interesting to. I don't know. No, yeah, it's interesting uh, to realize that, that she's actually like been around for like a minute and like just kind of like always there, I guess. I just never really took notice. Because, um, yeah, she's kind of been floating around the uh, stratosphere here for a minute. Um, yeah. I mean. And- at least, like, her career didn't, like, mm. you know, go, like, downhill. No, no, like, I feel she like didn't end up getting, like, super heavy into drugs. It's only and, ever gone up. Yeah, yeah but, for um, sure. Uh, we can, it's still going strong with the uh, Chelsea thing, too, which, I mean, it only gives the Chiefs more power. Do you know the whole uh, Chelsea Taylor uh, story tale, the fairy tale, how they met? And No. No idea at all? Uh, no, I'd be, uh, I'm assuming uh, at some kind of event. 
Maybe he's, maybe he's a Swifty. <laughs> well, hey, there you go. You hit the nail on the head. He is a Swifty. Right. Uh, well, before we get into that, uh, do you know some of the other guys that she's uh, dated before? Uh, didn't she used to be with a DJ? Some uh, like kind of like he he would do raves and stuff. Uh, uh, Calvin Harris? No, there's I'm, a for I sure. I feel like she was with some kind of like rave DJ guy. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. There's a few that, like, I don't know. Like, okay. so when they say their names, I'm just like, oh, I don't know that person. Yeah. But there's a few that I'm just like, whoa, I uh, had no idea. Um, well, the few of the big ones, uh, we'll just keep it to the big ones. Um, or one of her older ones or bigger ones was John Mayer. I feel like that was a pretty um, oh, well-known okay. one. yeah. John Mayer, there's a picture if you want to see. Um, that was oh. a bit of a controversial one because I yeah. think uh, when they oh. dated, she was like, 20 oh and he was like 30 plus like okay. maybe 34 ish okay or maybe more and i think that kind of made a buzz of like hmm, hmm. It's a bit of a gap yeah which i don't know how do you feel about that because we're both like about that age um it is kind of a tricky thing it is it is a little tricky um, like, that is i don't know 12 years it's a bit of a gap there yeah no that's not even 12 it's more it's 14 yeah if if that's what the age was, yeah, yeah. If that, if that was the age, and I mean, there's the same thing going on with DiCaprio as well. Oh yeah, DiCaprio. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a bigger gap. Interesting. Um, I I mean I don't know. I think it's tough because mm. it's like celebrities. I'm mean, not saying that they should be treated differently and mm. be able to get away with things, but also it's like, I uh, I mean he's not. Neither of them are breaking the law i thought it, i mean was I, mean, I feel like cancel culture is like totally like scouting this episode right now i thought john mayer <laughs> but, was always cool but yeah like too it's also like i mean my parents were 20 years apart That's you a big know gap. and you know my dad was a good guy yeah, like you know it's like cool, yeah it's uh, i mean the thing i like i don't know i feel like the first thing people think about when they hear that age gap especially when the guy's older is creep yeah cradle robber Grooming. you He's disgusting like groomer, piece yeah. of shit you know, but it's like, how many times have I heard from girls that they like an older guy just mm. because they want to be with somebody who's more mature, mm. who's like kind of got, you know, more of their life figured out. Interesting. Um, but it's, for me, dude, I have no problem dating a chick who's way older than me, you know? And like, mm. I mean, depending, I mean, I'm not going to date like an 80 year old, yeah. but I have no problem dating somebody who's older than me. Mm. And, you know, I'm just saying. What's the oldest I, I, you would do? What was the eldest? Yeah. I would go. Yeah. 69. <laughs> I don't know. You know uh, probably like, probably like. Uh, How much money four, does she have? I'd be, I'd be down for like 48. I could, I could do 48. 40, uh, 48 would be cool. I'd have to look at. Um, <laughs> you know, she could I, show I'd me have some to things. Look at some other, maybe like uh, older female. I'm trying to think of like, some older actresses I'd be down with. Helen Mirren. Mm-hmm. How old is Helen Mirren? Um, I'd be down. Oh, she's also a uh, team uh, team Jacob here. She was with the uh, Jacob, uh, oh, which is a little bit controversial. That one I did not know. I'm very heavily heavily team Edward, so I don't support oh, her uh, yeah. dating a werewolf. Not well, cool. Exactly. Um, that one. <laughs> that one apparently ended on good terms. I guess they're still friends. This one uh, was a big shocker to me. Gyllenhaal. Not yeah. only uh, did I not know, but I guess that's a big one in the Swifty verse. Yeah. I guess he's uh, like. Deeply hated by like the, the Swifties. The Swifties. They, uh, there's a few songs. I think one of them that we listened to, I can't remember, is about the breakup. Um, I think this is also another one that was a bit of a age gap where it was like, hmm. Okay. I don't think it was as old as uh, Mayor, but I think it was still up there. Um, and I think, from what I heard, broke up with her via text. Mm. Um, and I think that he said that like the age difference was part of it. Okay. And, um, just from the song, or I'm not exactly sure why, because I've always found him cool as fuck, dude. Yeah. I, I think he's an amazing he's actor. A, he's a good actor, yeah. Amazing, for sure. dude. You talked to Nightcrawler? You yeah, seen yeah. Nightcrawler, dude? Dude, no. And, and uh, Zodiac? like Dude, um, Zodiac? Dude, dude. Prisoners? Yeah. Dude, literally whatever he's in, Prince of Persia? Yeah. No, maybe not that uh, one. I haven't seen that, actually. <laughs> what? And How have you not seen Prince of Persia, dude? I love Prince dude? of Persia. I, dude. That's, dude, I used to play those games that's all crazy, the time. crazy, because I know that you're all about the Persia, dude. I think I, I was kind of more of like, I was more like, I was scared. Were you just I was like, scared. that it was going to be bad? It, it's or? kind of like, and uh, no offense to Guy Ritchie, but it's kind of the same thing with like Aladdin. I was like, ugh, mm. this does not look Did like it's going to be... I didn't want to see uh, it. Just to I didn't want to see save it. your yeah. save what your like, impression of the I, director. I think it it's uh, 
it's more personal when it's like a director that I really, really like, like yeah. and I'm like Ugh, like it's when it's kind of like almost cringing when I'm watching the trailer Dang. unless somebody told me like unless you said dude don't let the trailer fool Ooh, you that's crazy then uh, I would have totally watched it speaking of Guy Ritchie and uh, Gyllenhaal I just saw they had a recent collab um, The Revenant the something he goes to like um, Afghanistan hmm. Jay Gyllenhaal goes to Afghanistan yeah, it comes the Revenant is uh No, I guess it's not the okay, Revenant. It's the something like that though, okay. like some kind of name like that. Um anyway, uh she also dated uh Loki, Tom Hiddleston, oh, okay. which I was like, "What, dude? Fucking Loki?" I was like, "Holy shit, dude." Wait, you Another, think he's ugly? No, I think oh. he's fucking awesome, oh, dude. Okay. The same as Jill and Hall where like not only is he a dope fucking actor, but yeah. he seems like a fucking cool ass guy, Oh dude. yeah, he's definitely a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, and then uh I think so. I from think so. what I understand, they ended a uh, pretty like it was only like a couple months, and I guess it was like I'm I'm busy doing Marvel over here. Yeah. She's doing this. It's just we're just too busy. Yeah. But I was like, holy shit, dude! Fucking uh, Jill and Hall's cool as fuck. And then Tom Hiddleston, dude. Tom yeah. Hiddleston's the shit, dude. She Loki. Is, yeah, she has a hell of a list, man. But anyway, sorry uh, with the Travis Kelsey thing. So yeah, turns out he is totally a Swifty. He's a Swiftosaurus, as they call him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if he doesn't if he doesn't trademark that Swiftosaurus, dude, he has to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know if you know, but he has a podcast too. Um, we'll see if we can get him uh, uh, as yeah. a guest. Um, he has a podcast with his bro. Oh, I love his brother. Okay. I, I can't remember his uh, Jason. Definitely Kelsey. Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey <laughs> plays for the Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. Um, I just they have a podcast. It's also, called, beautiful beard. It's called the Two Kelseys. I don't okay. know what it's called, but apparently it's very good. I'm probably gonna check it out. I don't know, but um, that's where it was first revealed. Um, so apparently what happened is that he tried to, he went to a concert. He was like, uh, the Swifty bracelet thing is real. It's a friendship bracelet. We're like, I just, they exchange it. Other fans exchange them. You have uh, bracelets. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I guess um, yeah. he was like, all right, so I made one. I was going to meet her backstage and give it to her. It has my phone number on it. And I was going to like, that's my shoot my shot kind of moment. Um, she doesn't meet before and after. Like she has to do like a hundred songs, so, so like she doesn't meet people because she wants to like save her voice or whatever. So he was on the podcast saying that like, yeah, I, I wanted to give her the bracelet. I didn't get to see, give it to her, but you know the show was great, great concert. Taylor, you're great. That goes viral. Yeah. She eventually sees it and is like, holy shit, this guy. I'm into this guy, I guess, yeah. and that's when like, and then slide into DMs or something, Dang. something. And I guess that's the origin of uh, how it went down. So yeah, he is a legit fan of hers, um, and I guess he's like gone on record way before this of being like, yeah, like I'm, Taylor's awesome, like yeah, I think she's amazing. I would love to <laughs> be in a relationship, <laughs> which is like, uh, and then you think about man, like talked about like man being like man, just fucking on top of the world, dude. Like you've got your NFL career, which is already. Tippity top in terms yeah. of like success, multiple Super Bowls, multiple Super Bowl winner, like uh, tons of endorsements. He and could, he, yeah, oh my god, like, on every commercial the in the world right now, he could just walk away completely and be set for life, and then just happen to be dating the girl who's like. Your success is already astronomical. Hers is like galactical, dude. It's like right. uh, it's just uh, talked about like a power couple or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, that's like yeah. as an interesting uh, origin story, or whatever. I just never would have thought that he was like a fan, and then to think of like, yeah, just you know. I, I honestly, I mean, and this is no offense to Travis Kelsey. Uh, Be careful, he's a <laughs> but he's a I subscriber. Know he's watching, but what I'm saying is like, I it's hard for me to picture any NFL uh, player as a as a Swifty. I mean, but you know, I, I can't imagine him listening to it to pump himself really, up for a game. Really jamming you know? out. Like yeah. I said, uh, I had to dig a little deeper for those b b b bangers. Uh, maybe we can get another list from our Swifty expert, our Swift. Yeah, Swift uh, tell, tell her I said uh, she could do better. Well, she could she's do better. a subscriber and a watcher, so oh, she's, okay. she'll see that already. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, way to really alienate the fan base. Yeah, there. That's all right. She'd be like, damn, Alex, you could do better, too. <laughs> oh, fire right back. Probably. Um, but, yeah, um, interesting stuff. We'll see if they made it to the Super Bowl. I mean, always contenders. And I I'm telling you, dude, there's no way she doesn't run up on the stage or like for one song or damn, something. Dude, joins like, Usher? How, like, if they don't incorporate her in some way. I feel like they will absolutely would. Like, they got to. Female viewership for the Super Bowl only spites during the halftime show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know so many female, like... That are just like I only watch it for the Super Bowl, or like that's the only part that I kind of tune in for. But that might actually like dive more into like your your conspiracy mm -hmm. it, because 
I don't know how that would work. I don't know if like that's something. Well, they that always you, have you know special. Yeah, special guests. I mean, not but, always, I mean, but like. I mean, for just like one, pretty, pretty even big, just like one part of the song, it would or like, be such a big coincidence. So, like, no, 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 I'm not even I mean? talking. I, I think it would be a huge miss if they didn't do it on purpose. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. coincidence. Like, but, it's, it's like mean, you're already got this thing going. Like, let's let's uh, take advantage of. But what the only thing is that, that I feel like people are going to complain about is like, you know, how did the Chiefs make it there? If there was any, you know, you think, questionable calls. You know oh, what I mean? That oh, got see, them like, there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're probably like, oh, the refs That's like we're in on. You know, like like if. It, like I when just, when you think about conspiracy in terms of like ratings, like what you want the best ratings, yeah. that is interesting because it's like that would be a ratings explosion. It's like it falls into that thing of like you know it's like basketball. It's like oh like why is it always Celtics Lakers? You know what I mean? Like uh, is it like is it yeah. because they're like always that good or is it because like that's where the ratings are like West and East? You know what I mean? Like that's where people tune in. Not only that, but like to me, uh, I don't know. Like I'm sure like our NFL fans. Definitely could agree. Is I'm I'm tired of the age of that one team that's just amazing. You know, it's like yeah, it's cool and it's you know obviously out of your hands when they're like you have an elite team, but it's nice to just see you know no, a no, new no. group it in there. It is cool to see the new, new group. squad. And, I mean, you can't you know. deny that this is the Chiefs' time for sure. Yeah, it, it is, they are the reign. Yeah, for they're reigning supreme for a while now. Um, but yeah, this has been a good set. I feel like we're That's going right. a little bit long on this one. Um, yeah, any other last cool. minute, uh, any last minute apologies or uh, or Josh <laughs> Allen? Josh Allen, we're so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Zach so, Allen, Bob so, Allen, Tom yeah, Allen. Yeah, you know there is a Josh Allen though that plays on uh, somebody's team, mm. uh, and he's a d- defensive player. So oh. we weren't completely no, wrong. We were talking lots, about him. Lots of Allens, yes, lots of Joshes. Lot, yeah, you know, I mean, this, hard to keep track of. Yeah. How do you think this whole uh, Swifty Kelsey thing ends? How do you think it all shits down? Is that the Nets album? Man. Is that the Nets? Uh, mm. Like his, she, inspiration. Okay, so, right? that's inspiration. so basically, he can't break up with her, right? Basically, she has to break up with him. If he breaks up with her, it's, it's no, over, dude. Yeah. Uh, the the mean, fan base is too nar. There's no way he won't be villainized, dude. There's there's no way he won't be like. This fucking guy, like, how I dare mean, he, like, unless she's caught, like, in the act of, like, yeah. cheating on him or something, like... Per, I mean, perfect example, if, if Patrick Mahomes has found a way to stay with his mm-hmm. psychotic wife, yeah. how the hell, I mean, yeah, Dude, well, he's probably well, looking over like, at Travis Kelsey, but, like, wow. high school, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't care about high school. I don't high care school about sweeties, time, dude. dude. Still, uh, Kelsey's still the, uh, fuck your high school sweetie, dude, I got... Yeah, Taylor, <laughs> billion dollar Swift over and here. She dude. probably somehow she still finds a way to treat people. Don't sign that prenup, treat bro. Treat people Don't good, sign man. It. You know, yeah, that's for sure. I don't know. I I feel like uh, I, it depends if it's like if this is real. Who knows? They might get married. Is and have it kids, love? You know that I'm feeling. But to me, I haven't looked into it enough to be able like really say what, hmm. what I feel like how, where it's gonna go I well know. we will see um, we'll see what's going on um, but yeah it's been a pretty good soda I feel like good flow um, yeah. yeah we can go ahead and wrap it and tap it there uh, thank you so much for tuning in and if you haven't already make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it's much appreciated and maybe you don't like these faces but you like these voices <laughs> so go ahead and subscribe on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for stopping by, sir. Always. I am your host, as always, Kyle McLemore. Alex Duarte. And we'll see you next time on The Pod.